Hello there, hope you're doing well. Hope things are going good for you. Today, we are at the stream set up here. This is where, you know, what we're used to seeing on stream. This is kind of a different way of making a video today, but it's going to be good. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a rounded webcam. This is a design that I've seen more and more on Twitch where you're we're getting into different shapes of webcams, different designs, different kind of ideas, not just your typical webcam border, but we're branching out and doing some new things. And so today I wanna show you how to make a rounded border uh, that looks very similar to the one I have. Uh, I'm actually gonna show you exactly how I made that one. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do it. And it's actually very easy to do. So with that, let's dive into it. Oh, and just a little precursor, you will need some sort of photo editing software. So you will need Photoshop uh, or Affinity Photo, one of the two. Um, I'm gonna be using Affinity Photo. Uh, if you are familiar with Photoshop, it shouldn't be that much different. And I mean, both are very similar software. So if you're used to one and not the other, it should be fairly easy to kind of figure out where everything is. Um, I'm, I just like Affinity Photo better. That's just my personal preference, but it should be easy regardless of whatever uh, tool you use. All right, let's dive in on the Mac and uh, let's create ourselves a rounded webcam. All right, now that we are in Affinity Photo, we can now start the first step, and that is to create a mask. Basically, what this mask is going to do is it's basically going to provide the shape of the webcam you want. So in your photo editor, you want to do 1920 by 1080 so we can maintain full HD, all that goodness. And then we're going to go ahead and create the shape we want. So we're going to go with a rounded rectangle here. And we're just going to have this take up the space here. Again, this is going to be whatever shape you want your webcam to be. Now we center that, and that's going to be the general shape of our webcam. That's pretty much it. Now, what is cool about this is you can actually make whatever shape you want. It doesn't have to be this, you know, this rounded rectangle that you're seeing now. It can actually be whatever shape you want. I mean, you can actually have it be, um, you know, I don't know something weird let's go crazy let's go have a heart-shaped one i don't know uh you can even do what else do we have here what else what other shapes are available here you could do um a cloud you know maybe you have a cloud and wind and air kind of themed uh, stream i don't know and you want to use something like this you can but basically my point is you could use whatever shape you want it doesn't really matter but for the sake of this example we're going to go ahead and continue to use this rounded webcam border um, but other than that, this is pretty much it for the masking step of the process. This is pretty much it. Now, two very important things to note before we bring this into OBS. First thing is we want to make sure that our shape is black. You want the fill to be black because when you bring this into OBS and you apply this mask to your webcam, uh, it's going to read the black, whatever black color is in your, uh, your shape and it's going to take to that shape. So it's reading for the black, um, the black pixels in your mask so you want to make sure whatever shape you have make sure the fill is black that way obs knows exactly what to mask your webcam to second important thing make sure you have a transparent background if you see these this little checkered pattern here this means it is transparent it is a transparent uh document here and so you want to make sure you maintain that transparency uh, it, otherwise you're gonna have white in the background now the way to create a transparent background in infinity photo is really easy You go to document and then you just scroll down to transparent background that way there is no background layers There's no white. There's nothing filling the background that way your mask is the only thing that is in your document in Photoshop I think uh, the projects are transparent by default. So you may not even have to do anything in Photoshop I'm not sure, I haven't used Photoshop in a while, forgive me. Um, but yeah, just make sure you have a transparent background. That's the second point that's really, really important to remember. So you're pretty much done once you've made sure that your shape has a black fill as well as a transparent background. You're pretty much good to go. You wanna export that as a PNG file. You don't wanna import, import, export it as a JPEG file. You wanna export it as a PNG. That way it maintains the transparency uh, even in that file. PNG is very specific for transparent backgrounds. All right, but now that you've exported that, make sure you remember where you saved it, bring it over to your PC, and we're gonna go ahead and put this into OBS. All right, well, now we're in OBS. This is what I look at whenever I stream. Whenever I turn on my stream, this is what I see, and I know you're probably seeing the infinite screen of infinity over there. Um, just the reality of the software at this point. Now we wanna be able to take that mask file that we just exported, and we wanna apply it to our webcam. 
So we need to go to the source, uh, our sources here. We want to go to whatever our webcam source is. For me, it is labeled Lumix since I'm using my Lumix G7. So when you get to your source, you want to right click it and then you want to go into filters. Now, when you go into filters, you're going to see a screen that pops up like this. And you can already see my image mask slash blend is already here. But if you want to get there, you just click this little plus button and you go to image mask slash blend name it whatever you want to name it and then hit okay and then you're going to get to this now the next step you want to go here to path and you want to be able to find wherever you saved that png file that you created a minute ago you want to find where you saved that file so you go to browse and you can either go into you know your documents file wherever you wherever you wherever you saved it wherever you put it um you want to be able to find that and then put it in the path right here now, the next thing we want to do is we want to go to type and uh, you get this little drop down menu here. This is five different types of ways that it can apply that file to your webcam. Now, I'm not sure exactly the technicality behind these five different options. They all do different things. Um, but what basically what I did is I experimented. I went to alpha mask, alpha channel, and that worked the way I wanted it to. That way we have these rounded edges here on this webcam. As you can see, it applied it. If we went to color channel here, went to color channel it, it's not even working and now i'm gone alpha channel now we're back right so you want to be able to play with it figure out what setting works for you what type works best uh but i highly recommend going with the alpha mask alpha channel so this should be the file type that should recognize those black pixels and apply the mask to your webcam the way you want so this is what worked for me and just like that you have your rounded webcam ready to go and there you go i mean that's it it's that simple it is that easy to create a mask for your webcam uh, in any shape you want. It doesn't just have to be a rounded rectangle. It doesn't have to be, it could be a circle. It could be a triangle. It could be the cloud that we just did. It could be whatever you want. Uh, so get creative, have fun with it. Now, if there is something I missed or if there's any questions you have, please be sure to leave those in the comments down below. I would love to hear any feedback and I would love to answer any questions that you have. So I do hope that this little tutorial was helpful. Let me know if you guys like these kind of tutorials down in the comments below. This was uh, is something really easy and something super fun to make. So if you guys enjoy these, this was something I played around with and created on stream. And so if you guys want to join the stream, go ahead and click that Twitch link in the description down below. Be sure to give it a follow. I greatly appreciate it uh, as always. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty easy tutorial. Nothing too complicated here. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to subscribe, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'd greatly appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.